If you ask me, that was the best Thanksgiving yet. You're kidding, right? No one's mad at us. <laughs> yeah, but we'd still be standing in the garage listening to them yell if your mother hadn't had a sudden urge for chicken and waffles. Probably. Yeah. Your father called my father a pimp for the Republican underbelly. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. But again, nobody's mad at us. <laughs> I guess the smart thing to do is just stay out of it, right? Yeah, that would be the smart thing. Okay, good night. Good night. <sighs> okay, here's the thing. My parents have a van that they do not want and that your parents desperately need. It's pretty much what I came away with. And, and uh, <laughs> if Larry could just get past his pride, he has a lot to gain here. No question. But that's not going to happen, right? Probably not. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's got to be a way to make Larry understand that he's just cutting off his nose to spite his face. Do you want to talk to him? Somebody has to. Then we'll go over there tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Hopefully they'll just be mad at you. <laughs> All right, Larry, I will grant you that it is possible that my father gave you the van to parade his vast wealth before you like a feudal lord tossing table scraps to the peasants. <laughs> Thank you. But isn't it also possible that he was just trying to do a nice thing? By what warped logic is giving someone a brand new car a nice thing? Well, <laughs> Greg. Uh, uh, come on, Larry. Regardless of what you feel about my parents, wouldn't this be a great thing for you, Abby, and the baby? Yeah, and think about all the things that it has that you don't have in the old van, you know? Power windows, built-in baby seats, spare tire, turn signals. <laughs> Reverse. It even comes with the built-in TV and VCR. TV? In a van? Yeah, it's got a video game and everything. And this means a lot to your parents? You'd be doing them a favor. Come on, let's go take another look, just you and me. See you later. Bye. You're doing a good thing. It's because I'm a giver, Greg. Feeling. A little bloated, actually. Really? Did you have anything salty? Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, wait. Yeah, this morning I had a bowl of salt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, listen. I was thinking if I'm going to be a good midwife for you, we should go over the birth plan again. Well, actually, Dharma, I have some really good news about that. Yeah. Um, do you remember when we went to the spiritual midwifery seminar to hear Chloe Spencer Chung? Oh, yeah, she was amazing. Yeah. <gasps> wow, when did the first little vagina come out in paperback? <laughs> Just this month, she was signing him at V. Dalton, you know? And I went and we got to talking, and it turns out that she was available. For what? To be my midwife. Instead of me? No! No, no. With you, you know? The two of you together. Well, don't you think that's a little last minute, Abby? You're doing a couple weeks? Well, honey, she's the best midwife in the country. Look, even Dr. Art Uline thinks so. <laughs> you sure we need her, Abby? I mean, I'm your daughter. I've been through your birth canal. I know the way. 